Whether you're heading to the beach or on a bike ride and you want some delicious food and drink to take along, you have so many options here in Traverse City. And right now, we're at one of them, Folgarelli's Market and Wine Shop. We're talking with Derek and your shop and your family. You have a long history here in Traverse City. We do. We've been... Uh We've been here in this location since 1978. My grandparents started this market. Um, I'm third generation. My mom, Donna, uh, bought it from my grandparents, and I recently taken over. I've been back in the stores for about 20 years since I got out of college, so it's been a long family tradition. You have some unique things here. Everything from, you know, snacks that people can come on and pick up to things that they can order if they're heading out on an adventure. Certainly. Uh, we have a huge selection of sandwiches and some very famous ones around the state and beyond. Beyond that, we have a huge delicatessen full of cured meats and cheeses um, that we certainly can slice by the piece for people to take with them on their journey to the sand dunes or maybe having a party just on the boat. Yeah, and another great thing that people love to do is get a plate, head to a concert at Interlochen. And there's so many options. Folgarelli is just one of them. You have a lot of specialty shops in Traverse City. We're so close to downtown, just west a couple blocks of the downtown area. It's very easy. It is very easy. I mean, downtown's relatively compact. Um, and within Traverse City per capita, I think we probably have one of the best food cities in the country. So beyond, there's a bunch of specialty stores like ours and all the great restaurants, and there's a number of great eateries and places to visit. You also have a great wine assortment. So to learn more about that, we're gonna head back into the wine shop. I know you specialize in Italian wine, but you have wines here from all over the world. We do. We've got a huge selection of wines, and we certainly focus on a lot of the wines produced here in northern Michigan. Yeah, that's wonderful. When I travel, I love to stop by a place like this and just pick up a bottle of wine to have at the hotel or maybe wherever I'm going. Absolutely, and there's no shortage of options. I mean, we've got wines for pretty much any wine palette out there. Just down the street from Fogarelli's is Mary's Kitchen Fort, and we're here with Mike, and you make it extremely easy for people to come in, get some grab-and-go items. I know locals love to come here, but it is a great spot, very popular among visitors as well. It is. We have all the salads of sandwiches. You can have right away for lunch or have it make it part of your meal. We have hot soups. We have vegetarian fare as well as meat salads, cheeses, all kinds of things, all kinds of beverages, so, yeah. It's really delicious, and I noticed that you have a kitchen in the back, Mike. We do. Is that where it all happens? It does. We make our bread every day. We start at 5 o'clock. The bread is out, ready for the staff to come in and make all the sandwiches fresh every day. Yeah, and people come right up. They ladle their soup in there. Those change daily as well. Every day, two new soups. Uh -huh. Yep, and then in the summertime, we have gazpacho instead of a hot soup, so people are into cold soups then. Yeah, Mary's Kitchen Port has been around for over 30 years. That's quite a history here. It is, thank you. Well, we never tire of it. We are very proud of it, and uh, we have lots of locals who support us, and then we have all the influx of the tourists that come in in the summertime. Mm -hmm. So we're very grateful. Yeah, and you are more than just making food. You also have a lot of kitchen specialty items. So let's we go do. check those all out. All right. I imagine that the people who come here love great food and they also like to spend time in the kitchen too. So kind of nice to be able to pick up a souvenir, something to take home. Yeah, a high-end coffee maker or a svetzel maker or anything that you would need for the kitchen, we probably have. Mm -hmm. I notice you have a lot of jellies and salsas and all, other great items you don't find things. everywhere. We do, a lot of food items, things for snacking, things for cooking with. Yeah, so chips and dips and all kinds of things. Oh, just perfect. Well, thank you for allowing us to stop thank by you. here. So great food for great adventures all found here in Traverse City. Check it out. Oh, nice. So I sampled food at both places. It was incredible. Even bought some gifts and goodies to take home. And both of these markets are really easy to find. They're near downtown Traverse City on West Front Street. We only had high time to hit up these two places. But what I love about that city is that there are so many unique businesses there, locally owned, that offer 
great food and service to their customers. You know, you can tell by the way they treat you, mm -hmm. respectfully, kindly, that, you know, your business matters to them. Right. And well, and it's like you're a guest in their home, which is wonderful. Yes. We covered a lot of ground this week from spa treatments to shopping, wine tasting, delicious mm. food, outdoor activities. I think I'm ready to get away. Maybe some <laughs> golfing up north. I'll be your partner there. Check out TraverseCity.com for more information and resources. Hey, Thanks enjoy the so day. Thanks for joining us.